use the time that you're trying to figure out wisely so obviously when you're without work you've got a lot of time on your hands now's the time to get the things in order that you need to get in order to land yourself the job or the opportunity that you want use this time to get your career documents in order and by that I mean your resume your LinkedIn profile and a cover letter that can support your applications when you're ready to apply so those are the three major documents you need to land a good job sometimes even to change careers so the resumes tips and tricks I have guides for your resume on how to write a good resume they need to be sharp and succinct they need to be aware of the readers times remember when we in crisis there's going to be loads of people applying for jobs so you need to be conscious of who's reading your resume and try to be sharp and succinct without compromising on detail with regards to LinkedIn LinkedIn is the professional networking site and quite frankly if you don't have a presence a good presence on LinkedIn you're doing yourself a disservice you are also likely to send a message to the person reading your resume that you are not that interested in your career if you can't be bothered taking advantage of the professional networking real estate that is going to send a message of disinterest and you don't want to do that with regards to a cover letter short sharp succinct you need to be able to sell yourself in an entry level way this is where the elevator pitch style comes in handy good cover letters are no longer than one page long maximum about 450 words if you can't sell yourself in a short sharp cover letter you're not going to get the reader to read your LinkedIn or to even look at your resume so your cover letter is usually your intro into the company and yes some people say they're old-fashioned but they're not they're actually your entry point of telling the hiring manager or the recruiter how good you are at selling yourself in a short sharp way